Okay, here we go. This is me about to put together a newspaper merge colony that was merged about a week ago. So this is kind of a tidy up of um, excess frames and the very top of the hive. Um, I can't really talk while I'm, uh, I can't really see what you're saying while I'm doing this. So uh, please um, do comment, but um, I'm afraid it's a one way broadcast because I've got my, all my gear on. Okay, let's give it a try. Nice to have a camera to check that I've got everything zipped up properly. Right, here we go. So everything zipped up, yeah. Right, let's go have a look at this hive now. If I just reverse the camera, um, I can spin it around so you can see what's going on. Right, here we go. Bob's up and down a little bit whilst I'm doing this. Right, let's reverse the camera. There you go, this is the hive I'm going to be working on. Um, and first things first, I'm going to have a look at the top of the, um, the top brood chamber, which has the... Um, a couple of frames, maybe six frames of uh, brood frames in there that I'm hoping has hatched out. Um, so basically we're going to take those, the top brood frame, the top brood chamber and the bottom brood chamber apart completely and rebuild them into one new uh, brood chamber. So let's just move this over a touch. Time to bring in a new hive stand. Me a bit of extra space whilst I'm working. I've got a second hive stand here, um, just temporary. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see what's happening next. So let's go for a quick walk, see what's inside. So right at the top, got a bit of a slug problem here in this corner of the garden. Uh, right at the top, we've just got six frames. Um, I'm, they came out of a nuke when I did the merge. So um, this is how it looks at the moment. Fairly empty because the queen stopped laying. Right, here we go. And we'll move that down onto that new. Um, onto the lid here. fairly empty frames I'm trying to get rid of these frames here and uh, they're kind of surplus to requirements I'm also hoping there's no eggs in it to be a hundred percent sure that the Queen didn't make it into the top of that newspaper merge. Yeah, good. I've been actually storing a little bit of honey up top here which is unfortunate but it'll do for if I need a brood frame with some honey in it for emergency. next frame this was left over remember from the queen that stopped laying so that's more than half hatched i would say that cluster of brood there see that okay and on the other side oh this mostly hatched here they didn't manage to bring on a new queen but the queen did stop laying this is why this got merged in <laughs> Same here, 
hardly any. Um, it's, this was a dwindling colony. And what I'm going to do as I'm going along, I'm going to shake these bees down into the. Um, If you've not seen a newspaper merge before, here's the kind of leftovers of what you get. The bees have chewed through the newspaper um, and um, that's how the colonies have merged. So there's a little bit of a tidy up to do there just to put that right. spare top box empty so I'm going to shake all of these bees into the top of that hive. Let's have a quick look here again quite good that the, most of the brood has hatched. We'll see what the bottom box looks like and decide what to do about that next. last frame of the six that was in the top there. Can we see that okay? Yeah. Thankfully zero eggs, zero larvae, so um, so this was right to be merged. Frame had quite a bit of mould on it actually, so I've just put that to one side to make sure it doesn't ruin the, the main hive by accident. There's still the odd bee emerging here, can you see that in the middle of the screen there? She's just hatching out. Okay. to be empty so I have the flexibility to either recycle them or not. Uh, I'm going to pop them down here out of the way. It's just about empty. Yeah. So I'm just stacking up the unused brood frames by the camera here away from the hive just so I can have a proper tidy up. I know there's no bees on them, but there are some brood. If I can get them into the hive, I will. Right, that's the brood box. Pretty empty, last few bees in it. It's a bit grubby, this one. It's been in for a season, overwintered. Um, so I'll take this opportunity to swap for a clean one. So that's the brood chamber, empty. The frames are put to one side temporarily. Sorry about the bouncing. Um, and we'll see what's in the bottom of the hive. Um, so what I'm going to do now, this whole hive is dirty, hasn't been cleaned. So I've got a fresh base to go on.
Right, so I've got a nice, fresh, clean base, which I'm going to put down here. Um, I've also got a nice, clean brood chamber somewhere, which, which can go on there as well. At least I thought I did. Right, whilst I'm here, let's see. Let's see how the supers are doing, how much honey we've got in them. So if I just move the camera over, you should be able to see. I'll just turn that around a little bit. Should be able to see what's going on here. Right, let's have a look. A little bit of smoke just to get the bees to go down. Very well behaved today. See what we've got in the supers so far. No, that's empty. 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 No, they've not been up in this top one yet. I'll check, check the next one down. That's as light as a feather. Fingers crossed things are a bit better at the bottom. Well, there's certainly more work going on here. Very light. Where are they? Super, much much smaller frame, obviously. A little bit of capped honey there. Not bad, not a lot though. It's only been in two weeks or so. A little bit more on this one. This is beginning to build up a bit, and most of those frames have a bit of honey in the, a bit of nectar in the bottom. But definitely not loads of honey. Now I want to get this super out of the way so we can start the work of having a look at what's underneath. Oh, they're all clustered at this end, I can see where they are now. Ah, this is a bit heavier. They've certainly been busy on this one, very deep. Uh, probably some of them half full, some of them capped. And would you believe it, there is a queen up there. What is she doing? Let's have a look. She shouldn't be up in the super. This is the queen that is not laying. So, this was, so there was a queen in that merged colony um, and I have zero eggs in the super. So she's gone up. Now I'm gonna capture her because just in case, um, just in case it is the queen that should be in the bottom box. I don't want to just dispatch her until I'm 100% sure. Where's she gone? To find her again. She's definitely on this frame somewhere, so I'm gonna look for her. I'll tell you what, while I do that, I'm going to get a cage for her, so when I find her I can put her straight into a cage. Always good to have these things in your pocket. This is a cage for the queen. This is a little cage for marking queens, so one way or the other we will cage her. Um, just for safety's sake, that she isn't actually the good queen from the bottom. I know she's not laying, I know, I know she's been off the lay, and that was the reason for the newspaper merge. Let's see if we can find her again. Queens hate the sun, so they always spin round to the side you're looking at that doesn't have the sun on it. Oh, I've lost her now, I think she's maybe changed frames. We'll find her again. to one side. Let's see if we can find that queen. I don't know why she stopped laying, but it's been over six weeks now. She hasn't laid anything, so 
Um, that was the reason for the newspaper merge, maybe a month. In fact, it's not so bad if I have a queen at the top that is not laying. I'm more concerned as if she suddenly started laying. Here she is. And she has a green dot on her back, so I know her. Can you see her inside the cage? Obviously, I use this cage for marking queens. Um, we'll um, shake the bees off this frame and leave her there for now. We'll come back to... Uh, we'll come back to sort her out. So, yeah, there she is. Lovely queen, but not laying. So at least I've got her there. So that's now a qu uh, clean, she's got a few workers in there with her, uh, a few nurse bees in there with her, um, but we'll leave, we'll leave them together for now. We'll come back to her later. I'm actually going to take this whole super off. They have actually started to fill a little bit here and there but uh, slowly progressing. Let me just top this up from this side. Here's a nice wet new frame to replace the one. That's the sort of uh, comb you get with, sorry about the jumping. That's the sort of comb you get with uh, after an extraction. So that's just been sat there in, in a box. We'll pop that in there, can clean that up and sort it out. Um, and I'm a frame missing here, so this one can go back in. I think it roughly came out of here. So the second super can go back on. And then I'll lift both supers off together and put them away onto the lid, out of my way, because I'm not particularly interested in supers just now. A little cover there. These poly hives, you use a, um, a plastic cover on the top. So we'll just get rid of this soup, this, these two supers. They're now sitting on the lid, out of the way. Right, let's see whether we can see what's going on in this hive. If I tilt that a little bit, you'll be able to see in. So what I'm looking for now, what I'm looking for now is a, uh, a queen, do a normal check, but at the same time I'm seeing what the possibilities are for reusing any of those spare um, brood frames that were left over from the newspaper merge. Remember, there's still a few... Um, a few uh, unhatched bees in there. Not a great loss, but if there's an empty frame in here, I will try and reuse it. Just tidying the propolis off, off the queen excluder. Okay. What I'm gonna do is take that off. And always check on the underside just in case the queen happens to be up there. Um, can't see her right now. Always have a little tidy up as well whilst I'm here if I see any comb that needs to be removed. No, I don't think she's up there. So I'll put that across there like that, shake them back in. Queen excluder, come on ladies. The queen excluder can go to one side. And now we're into the brood chamber. Um, this is uh, one of the reasons why I need to swap the brood chambers around because this one's been in place for quite a while and quite frankly it's a bit grotty inside. So let's see what we've got here. Again I'm looking for eggs, 
larvae at different stages. We've got a little bit of honey up in the corner under my thumb there. If all, to have a look at what's on the frame, you can simply blow on it. Good cluster of um, capped brood there. And I'm scanning the, heart, the, the uh, frame as well, looking for the queen if she's there. And even more brood on here. So this is just the end frame. So this is a good, busy colony. Um, and we've got a little bit of honey in the corners of that brood frame as well. So what I'm going to do with this end frame, so I've got a bit of space to work, I'm just going to rest it on the end of my hive stand out of the way. I don't think the queen is on that one. She's rarely on the very end. Let's see what we've got here. Again, a little blow. It's going to be very hard to see on the camera, but we have eggs inside so here we go no queen seen yet I believe I have a marked queen in this one Okay, we'll put that one back in. Sometimes I have to go through twice to find the queen, but I'm happy that I've seen eggs. So to be honest, I don't have to see the queen today. I've seen her eggs. She's been around not long ago. And the first sign of a drone there as well. Uh, and there's quite a bit of drone brood. See, it's more bulbous, sort of looking and pronounced. Another drone there. Where is the queen? Okay, let's keep going through the hive. A lot of drone brood on this next frame. And lots of brood. And we've got um, larvae visible as well there. If I can just show you that. Hopefully you can see the larvae in that. And the odd drone kicking around as well. As we get towards the centre, there seems to be more drones. Still not seen the main queen for this hive yet. Matt, I saw your comment there about the queen might have slipped through, but that queen that I took out the top, I know her because she came, she was the failed one. Um, and I recognise because I touched the end of her wing with the green um, paint when I painted her. So she had a green wing tip. So I'm fully expecting to find another queen down here somewhere. Good, good pattern, a very large spread of brood you get on these bigger brood frames. By the way, these are four, uh, 12 by 14 brood frames, so they're, they're very heavy, so um, it can be a challenge to swing them around. Okay. Let's see what this next one is like. A little bit lighter now, plenty of eggs in there, some brood. Um, so we've got a colony that's about to explode in terms of the number of the number of bees in it. Still looking for the queen. Plenty of brood in there as well. Bit of pollen at the top. There you go. Plenty of brood on that one. So I'm going to struggle with such a a full hive to reuse any of those sort of lightly um, filled frames that you saw in the other hive. I think we're going to have to put them to one side. I'm not seeing any queen cells whilst I'm checking here as well. I don't think this colony feels like it's going to swarm anytime soon. Where are we? 
plenty of brood here. Just trying to see if anyone's made any comments. Okay. Okay, a bit more um, drawn brood down the bottom there, that kind of bulbous looking uh, brood again. I'm seeing larvae at all stages here. There's all sorts of size larvae there. Let's see what's going on next. A few um, bees there, very covered in yellow uh, dust there. Don't know what plant they've been in. Here we are. Still not seeing the queen. Because this uh, brood box is so grotty, um, I am going to swap all of these frames over in a second to a, to a new box. A little bit of a, I think a play cup there. Um, let me see whether I can see this queen. Of course, we're gonna, I'm going to go back through it again as I transfer them over. So I've got another opportunity to look for her. There. I think that was a drone slipping round. Right, so here's the plan. The plan is to go from to that empty box there and then put it back on the site of the original hive. So that's what I'll do just now, move those frames over one by one. In fact, what I might do is put the original new one in the correct place to start with. Right, here we go, let's rebuild that. Pouring with bees in here. So right, I'll just move that over. Just have a little bit of a clean up on the hive stand here. a nice empty box in place and I can start moving them over one by one. Bee's trying to operate my phone at the moment. Right, let's move them over. Really keen to get the same positioning so each frame is exactly as it was. Like I said, I'm doing this because this hive is at the end of the apiary. It had a problem with slugs over winter and basically it's just a bit grotty inside. So that's the reason why I'm swapping them into a new 
clean um, pipes, uh, base and root chamber. I haven't even bought this year's marking pen yet, so... major operation swapping the boob chambers out there. Just to show you how grotty this is, just to show you how grotty the old one is we've got a lot of build up in the bottom of the hive um, some damage here or maybe I need to scrape it off and have a look but it's clearly had a slug damp problem over winter and this needs a good thorough clean there's a chance the Queen's in here so um, I'm going to try and shake the bees in but not the rubbish so I'm not going to try and clean it or tip the dirt um, into the new clean brood chamber. Let's see if we can do this. So you can get a better look pretty grotty and that's mainly down to slugs getting in so right time to put the queen excluder back on oh in fact no, there's a few quite a few more bees down here rubbish into the nice clean hive so I'm just going to put them on the grass and let them find their way back into the hive themselves so I'll put them away from where I'm walking in the grass hive stand is out of the way we've now got everyone in time to put the queen excluder back on maybe a puff of smoke just to get them all down There we 
go. Coming in, excluded back on. That's looking good. Time to put the supers back on. Come on, ladies. <laughs> Good, good, good. Oh, I'm going to swap that polystyrene cover for a clean one because I have been having a bit of a cleaning session. me just knocking out the old lid again you can see from the old lid it's been there out, out quite grotty on the outside because of the trees it's been under so we've got a nice green one in there. freshly painted lid right let's see who's been watching Okay, I'm going to step away from the hive so I can take my gloves off. That is one completed newspaper merge. Um, but I still have to think about what I'm doing with the Queen. She was down there, I'm convinced, but I'm not so keen in dispatching the other one just yet. Um, so there you go. Um, let me take my glove off. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and um, I will be back next time I do an inspection. Bye.